been another week of Kidopolis with Miss Jessie. I'm Miss Jessie, obviously, and we are in the month of August. August already, can you believe it? We are eight months into this crazy year. Here we are doing another week of Kidopolis with me right here and you right there, and I miss you so much. Hope you miss me. Can't wait to see you when this crazy bananas year is over. But this month, I am very excited because if you remember June and July in Kidopolis, we did like the same kind of lesson. It had the same theme, right? Focus, take a closer look. Trusting in um, what you can't see because of what you can't see. Do you guys remember that? I know, I took a week off. So, did you take a week off too? Anyways, now we're in a new month and we have a really, really neat theme and it's called Indescribable. Your creator has no limits. Your creator has no limit. So, let's stop and think for a second. Who is your creator? Do you know who it is? Did you know it's the same as my creator? Did you know it's the same as his creator and hers? Did you know that? Our creator is God. Good, I hope you answered that right. I bet you did because I bet you've been paying attention this whole time. So, we are talking about how we are God's creation, and because of that, we have creativity, um, because we are made in the image of God. God made us, so we have some things like him, like creativity, and imagining what you could do because you're made in God's image. Think of what God did. Think of all the things that he did. Last week, if you watched the so-and-so show, um, it was about the creation of the earth and people and animals and all of that stuff. All the stuff that you see and feel, touch and smell and hear, it's all God. God did all of that. So, because of his creativity, we have the ability to be creative. And that's what we're talking about this month. So, I... Yes, we are going to be talking about... Um, this week we are talking about Ephesians 2.10. Hang on, it's so early for Miss Jessie. You know the rule, right? In class, it's been a little different since we haven't been in class, but you know the rule in Miss Jessie's class. Have to have your coffee, have to have your Bible, and that's all I need to teach the kids. Got them, had my coffee, I'll set it there. <clears throat> Alright, so Ephesians 2.10 is, this is not our memory verse, but it's our, our Bible story. It's not really a story, it's just a phrase, but that's okay. My children are being creative in the basement right now playing. I don't know if you heard that. Um, so, we are doing Ephesians 2.10, and last month our memory verse was from the book of Ephesians, so what's really cool is we get to see um, another verse from it. It's actually right after, right? So, Ephesians 2.8 is, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. This is the gift of God not by works, so that no one can boast. That was last month. Still very true. Still very true. But now we're talking about this week. For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Did you know that all of the good things that you're going to do, God already planned it for you? And not only did he plan it, but he gave you everything you needed to do it. Right? And I'm not just talking about like, oh, I gotta do my homework, so I need to have... I do my homework with markers. Don't do that. I just like colors. You guys should know that. But not just I, I need to have my pencil and my paper and a desk, but like, he gave you hands to use the pencils. He gave you a really smart brain to be able to work on that homework. He gave you teachers to teach you, parents to help you. He gave you a world to learn about so that your brain could like think and like fill, work out these puzzles and relate them to other things, right? So many things. So, um, our activity this week, I already did it. Sorry, you just don't want to see me do it. It, take, it took me, it took me about seven hours to do. I'm just kidding. But um, what I want you to do, you guys have done this before, right? Take um, a marker. It could be any color you want. But get out lots of colors, because we are being creative this month, right? So you need lots of colors. If you need help finding colors, if you need help getting markers, please let Miss Jessie know. 
I want to help you guys out, okay? I will bring you some markers to do some activities if you like. Um, so what you're going to do is take a marker and trace your hand. Now, after you trace your hand, since it's the month of August, you're going to be drawing a turkey on it. I'm just kidding! It's August, not November. November, we'll do the turkeys. But, <clears throat> so, can you see this, Jacob? Here, I'm going to cover. Aha! So, I don't know if you can see Miss Jessie's messy handwriting, but I wrote on four of the fingers, we are God's handiwork. Get it? A hand and handiwork. And then, I drew a picture of myself. Oh, uh, <laughs> you guys, I'm not an artist. It's fine. Um, and I wrote my name, Miss Jessie. Okay? And then, what this we need to think about is the ways that we can be used to help God. What what God has given us and what we can do in our life to do things for God. So, there's still a lot of space on this paper, especially if you have smaller hands than me, which I kind of have small hands for an adult, but they're definitely not child size. Um, all of this stuff on the paper, all this extra space, I want you to write the things about yourself that you think God gave you to help other people. So I'm just going to say that God gave me an outgoing personality. Do you think that helps serve God? I think it does. I think that I've met a lot of people who are able to tell about God and maybe teach about God because I had this personality um, that is like, hey, let's be friends. Let me tell you about God. But you know what? I want to say, if you don't have an outgoing personality, that's fine. I bet you if you have like a, like a quiet or introverted personality, that is so good too because you're learning so much. You're probably more of a quiet observer, right? And you're learning and you're looking and you're probably planning your moment more strategically, right? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. So I have an outgoing personality. What else? I love color. I'm just going to put that because, I mean, like I said, I always draw a marker and I think that maybe just being like vibrant and having a lot of color, maybe that helps make things more fun for the kids. I don't know. You tell me. What about, oh, I know. Christmas crazy pants. That's another thing I'm going to write. I love, hi baby, I love Christmas and this past Christmas I had the best time ever. Um, we got to sing a song about Jesus' birth and we got to perform it for the church, the kids, not not me, not we, me, me and um, Miss Jessica and Miss Lynn and all the other Kidopolis teachers, Miss Tabitha helped us there's a lot of creativity going on in here. Help us to do it. One second, please. I'm back! Sorry. We had a little bit of um, spontaneous music in the background. It wasn't planned. So, anyways, back to Christmas. Um, myself and some of the other teachers and some amazing volunteers and some of you kids and some of your amazing parents, we got to learn the song um, that celebrated the birth of Jesus. We practiced it every week for like a month and a half, I want to say. It was joy to the world. I'm sure that we can maybe find a clip of it and post it sometime soon. Um, and not only that, not only did we get to celebrate Jesus, which I'm sure just made God smile so big, but maybe you sing that song around somebody and you were able to tell them, hey, I don't know if you know this, but Christmas is about Jesus' birth and the miracle that that is. Or maybe because you were singing that song, somebody who wouldn't have come to church on Christmas came. So there's lots of things. Like, you know, it's kind of, you got to kind of trace back all the different ways because you might not think that some of the things about you, maybe something that somebody makes fun of you about, maybe, like my Christmas craziness. I guess how many Christmas trees I put up last year. Let's see, there was more, more. This many in my house. I put up six Christmas trees in my house. And it's really fun in here. Maybe we'll take some pictures this year. But there were so many. And some people were like, Jesse, you're silly. And I'm like, you know what? I just love Christmas and I want to spread that Christmas joy. And it turns out that that can be a gift. So I want you to go ahead and fill up all that space. It's going to take you a while to do it. But go ahead and think about it and praise God for all the things that he's given you to help praise him, to help people know him, to help people in general. There's a lot of different ways.
The so-and-so show are, is a really good example of some people who are using their creativity and their gifts and the things that God had made about them to use for other people. So I hope you enjoy that show. Um, we're going to watch it right now, and we're going to meet right back here in, I don't know how many minutes it is, usually 15. So much fun. See you soon. Hey, Brandon. Oh, hey, hey, John. Glad you're here. Did you notice how unseasonably cold it is outside today? Yeah. I'm having to knit a sweater so I won't freeze to death when I leave later. <gasps> Trying to decide if I should change the pattern. You know, like, knit one, purl two. <laughs> Saw that on a knitting show once. Yes. Don't know what it means. <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm trying to decide. You know they have a show for everything nowadays. I saw a show the other night about how to cut your cat's hair. Now, I don't have a cat, and I couldn't stop watching it. It was uh, relaxing, I guess. Anyway, what do you think I should do? Knit one, purl two, or keep the pattern the same? <laughs> knit one, purl two. Why don't you take your jacket off? Stay a while. Here, you dropped your glass. I really hate knitting. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and welcome to the So-and-So Show. John, why don't you tell the folks at home what we're doing today? Beats me, it's up to you, Brandon. <laughs> Seriously, though. Yeah. Uh, this was your week to plan the guests, so... No, 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 no. It was definitely your week to come up with a game. No, 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 Okay, so what do you have planned for us today, Brando? Oh, yeah, that's it. What, you really don't have anything planned today? No! Ah. Oh, man! So, uh, oh, you know what, you know what? Never fear, this always works. Oh, okay, good. Do this. Please welcome to the show someone who knows stuff! Someone who knows stuff! Um, I don't, uh, oh, okay, 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 I've got it. Let's play a game. All right. You know, believe it or not, there is some preparation that goes into the games that we play. There's usually rules, props, sometimes it has a name. Let's play What Do We Do on the Show Today? Uh, what do we do on the show today? Now we're just doing what we were already doing. Yeah, but now it's a game. Okay, listen, we're creative guys. We can, uh, we can come up with something, I'm sure, if yeah, we put our heads yeah, together. If only we, we had some sort of contraption with creative ideas on it that we could, you know, use on the show in an emergency situation like this. <sighs> Wait. Hey, you. Yes, you, with the horse head. I is that the wheel of ideas? It's too mean, yes? Yeah. Can we borrow it? All right, thanks so much. All right, our problems are solved, John. You're not even a little curious about- Nay, nay, we got the Wheel of Ideas. The Wheel of Ideas. All right, this game is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, where's it gonna land, where's it gonna land? Make? Make up a story about a dog, a watering can, and an elf. And 10 seconds, uh, go! 10 seconds, oh, okay. Uh, there was an elf who lived in a watering can, and one day a friendly dog came to say hello, but he accidentally knocked over the watering can with his big wet nose. Oh, and the elf done, got done. Wow, time's up, a good story. Yeah, I was on the edge of my seat. I wanted to know what, what was gonna happen to that watering can. Okay, my turn, my turn. All right, here we go, ready? Spin it. Bake a pie with the first three ingredients you can think of. Okay, uh, uh, the first three ingredients are pickles, shredded cheese, and curry powder. Oh, you can't bake a pie like that, can you? Of course! Fast forward! 
Wow. Uh, you want the first bite? Sure. <laughs> uh, time to spin. All right, I'll do it. All right. Get that thing out of here. All right. All right. Sing a song about the weather. All right. Uh, uh, the weather is really fun when I can see the sun. But when the clouds are out, it makes me want to pout. Oh, that's a nice one. I like the pout part. Oh, yeah. no, no. Thank you. Your turn. Go. Okay, here we go. Yep. <laughs> Invent an exercise that works out every muscle in your body. Oh, that should be easy. Challenge accepted. All right. All right, here we go. I need go some space. It. Ready? What about your feet? And your facial muscles. Don't forget your facial muscles. And your tongue. You'll be fully in shape in no time. All right, my turn. Draw a picture with your toes. Can I stop now? No, 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 no. I'm going to draw you. Oh, cool. All right. Hang in there, hang in there. Yeah. Yeah. You're looking good. All right, here we go. Oh, I got a toe cramp. Got a toe cramp. Ow, 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 Hey guys. What's the story today? Well, it looks like you guys got a great head start on our topic because today we're getting creative. Very cool. Mm. And you know, there's a lot of different ways to be creative. Whoa, like cooking, for example. You see, creativity will come out of everyone differently. Like in music. I love how musicians create so many different types of melodies and play so many different types of instruments. Just music alone has a wide variety of creativity. Sports are creative too. You have to figure out creative ways to work together with your teammates. And then add a little fancy footwork. Woo, and you've got yourself a game. Then there's people who love science and use their creativity to invent things like medicines or cleaning products. Oh, architecture is incredibly creative. You like playing with Legos now, but you could be building skyscrapers someday. Karate! Now those are some creative kicks. Yeah. Artists. Artists use colors to create beautiful pictures that can tell stories and touch people's emotions. It seems like there's no end to people's creativity. You ever wonder why? Oh, wow, back to me again. Let's look at what the Apostle Paul wrote in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. He wrote, we are God's creation. He created us to belong to Christ Jesus. Now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared those works for us to do. So there is a reason there are so many different ways to be creative. It's because you, me, and everyone you will ever know were created by a very creative God. And we can use our creativity to do good things, to love others, and to point people to Jesus. Pretty cool, huh? Really cool, Kellen. Yeah, this whole time I thought if you wanted to be creative, you had to know how to draw, and I am not good at that. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Oh, it's John. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see that. Thanks. Thanks. But lucky for you, there are a ton more ways to be creative than just being good at drawing. That's great news. Mm -hmm. You just got to remember that God created us in his image. 
So it makes sense that some of his creativity is inside of us. That's awesome. Thanks, Kellen. Anytime. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Kellen. This looks nothing like me. No, oh, sure it does, sure it does. Hey, everybody, it's me, John, and I'm crazy. <laughs> see, it's hard to tell. All right, that. then, reveal the question. Reveal the question. How are you creative? Oh, okay. Um, I'm creative because I can make people laugh. I can make people laugh. <laughs> and I'm good at making up stories. What about you? Yeah, whether you create something with your hands or your feet or you create solutions to problems in your mind. T talk about it together. How are you creative? And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Okay, make me laugh. Hey, look at me. I, see? You're hilarious. I can do all the exercises. Look at me. I'm dancing. See, this is what it's like for me being with you all the time. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed John and Brandon's creativity in the So and So show. I always appreciate their creativity and I am so grateful for them. Not only for the videos that they make for us each week, but just the fact that they do it and they give us so many good ideas. And um, that we get to come here every single week and we get an opportunity to be creative. Like, it is such a blessing for Miss Jessie to be able to exercise her creativity in this way um, and make lessons for you guys basically every week. I know I took last week off, I'm sorry. But um, it's such a blessing and I feel like us being able to exercise this creativity for God is such an amazing thing. And I thank you for watching it. Uh, and I thank Jacob for filming it and I thank Charlie for editing it. Um, all of these people who are just working for God in ways that they're good at and um, learning so much. Like I said, we get to learn so much. It's a lesson, not just for you. The lesson that we make, that John and Brandon and their team make, it's not just for you kids. We get to learn every single week too. That is super neat. So I hope you enjoyed that aspect of God's creativity, the creativity through your Kidopolis team. I have a little co-star who wanted to join us for the best part of the week. Say whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. Woo, woo. We are going to do our memory verse. Can you say memory verse? Memory verse. Memory verse. Very good. And our memory verse this week comes from the book of Psalms. Can you say book of Psalms? This is a beautiful necklace, isn't it? Somebody was very creative to make it. I'll let you look at it later, okay? Let's do our memory verse. Can you say Book of Psalms? Book Psalms. Book Psalms. Okay. And our memory verse is Psalm 145, verse 3. Can you say 145, verse 3? Um, five, water, five. Great. <laughs> no, that was awesome. Okay. So... We have our book of Psalms, which we know is in the Old Testament, right? <clears throat> it's a little, little, more, little bit before halfway through. But David um, composed most of the Psalms, and they are books um, or songs that we get to that we get to worship God with. And a lot of the Psalms we use in our worship today. They might be different versions of the songs. They might just take a couple phrases out, but there's still things that we use today. And there's a lot of beautiful poetry in here. So 145 verse three, book of Psalms, six like Psalms. Psalms. Psalms, okay, so there's 145. Can you point to the 145? Mm -hmm. Take your finger, yeah, little finger there. We found the 145, and now, so in Psalm, it's a little bit differently, a little bit different in my Bible. You know how we have big numbers in the other books? Psalm, it's like just in bold, and then it has the number next to the word Psalm. So it's divided up a little bit differently than you'll see 
and the other books that we have because this is each of the psalms that are numbered those are basically different songs so this is basically like saying psalm number 145 okay so verse three we're gonna three. take our finger and run it down find the teeny tiny three there it is Doop. that's how we find it i'll read it from here okay you want to read it with me great or lord you are great and great. You are really worthy of praise. You really will praise. No one, no one can completely Pretty. understand Sam. how great you are. Oh. <laughs> Psalm. Psalm. One forty-five. One forty-five. Verse. Three. Three. Lord, you are great. You are really worthy of praise. No one can completely understand how great you are. Psalm 145, verse 3. So memorize that. Memorize it. Send me a video. Let me know how you did. And you will get a treat. <gasps> if you met. And her sisters too, yep. Um, but just know that the treat isn't just the treat that you get from Miss Jessie. It's putting some of God's word up here, memorizing it here, and then hopefully if you keep it here, you can keep it here, and eventually it'll come out here when somebody uh, needs to hear you say it, okay? So let's do our prayers. Do you want to do prayers? Yeah. Do you have any prayer requests? Yeah. What's your prayer request this week? So, um, I guess fell on the table, so... You I, fell on the table? Yeah, and I guess I'm the hedgehog. You're holding the hedgehog. Then I lean in, then I go, and I jump, and then I read, and then I... So prayers for a good week? Yeah, and I just have, so I just play on the iPad, and just play on... Do you want to open or me? Um, you go ahead and pray and then I'll pray. Go ahead. Um, you got it. Do you want me to do it first and then you can close? I can't. Um, um, Here, I'll do it and then you go. Dear God, thank you so much for this week. Okay, thank you for my God. <laughs> thank you for my beautiful family and my helper Heidi. Um, thank you for John and Brandon and the So and So Show, and thank you for the opportunity to be creative for you. Pray for my friends. I hope they have a healthy and happy week in summer, um, and I hope that we get to see them soon. Heidi, go ahead. Go ahead, pray. Glad. I got a him because I am so I need to I just seed and I bend and I sing and um um so beat. Amen. Amen. Well thank you Heidi for your help. I appreciate your help. Um, thank you for watching, and thank you again, Charlie, for editing. Thank you, Jacob, for watching. Thank you to Chuck and Jeff and all the people who helped um, put this out. I want to say, if you see them around, tell them thank you so much for exercising your creative gifts that God gave you to help us learn about Him. Amen. Have a great week. See you next week. Say bye. 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 Adios. See you later. See you later. <laughs>